In lesson 5, we're looking over word problems and fractional parts of a number. The first example that we're looking at is a word problem, and we're going to take the word problem and set it up into an equation, and then we'll solve for the missing number. So first, we're just going to read through the problem. Twice a number is decreased by 7, and this quantity is multiplied by 3. The result is 9 less than 10 times the number. What is the number? So the first part we see is twice a number, and that would be 2 times the number, I'll just use n, um, is decreased by 7. So decreased would be subtracting, so minus 7. And this quantity is multiplied by 3. So I put that in parentheses because it's talking about the whole quantity. And it's being multiplied by 3, so I'll just put the 3 on the outside of that. And it says the result is, that means an equal sign. And then we have 9 less than 10 times the number. So we need to multiply the number by 10, so 10 in, and then it's 9 less, so we're going to have a minus 9 over here. And then from this equation, we'll be able to solve for n. I'll use the distributive property with 3, so that'll be 6n minus 21 equals 10n minus 9. And then I'll subtract 10n from 6, and I'll add 21 to the negative 9. So I'll have negative 4n equals 12, and then I just need to divide by the negative 4. So n equals a negative 3, and we found the missing number. The next example on lesson 5, we're looking at another word problems, and this time we're trying to find the number of ducks that was originally on the pond. So again, first you just want to read through the problem to see what's happening. The number of ducks in the pond was doubled when the new flock landed. Then seven more ducks came. The resulting number of ducks was 13 less than three times the original number. How many ducks were there to begin with? So we're just going to now take it in parts so that we can set up our equation to solve for the number of ducks. So the first part, the number of ducks on the pond was doubled when the new flock landed. So we're just going to say 2, and I'm going to use n to represent the beginning number of ducks. Okay, then 7 more ducks came, so we would add 7 to that. The resulting number of ducks, that would be an equal sign was 13 less than 3 times the original number. So we want 3 times our original number, I'm again just using n, and it's 13 less, so I'm going to subtract 13 from that. Now I can go ahead and solve for the original number of ducks. So I'm going to subtract 3n, and then I'm going to subtract 7. So I have a negative n, equals negative 20. So since the opposite of n equals a negative 20, n will be a positive 20. So it's 20 ducks. And we have a number. The third example on lesson 5 is another word problem finding a missing number. So again, we're just going to read through the problem. The sum of negative 7 and 6 times the number is multiplied by 5. The result is 332 less than 3 times the number. What is the number? So first, we're going to break this up into pieces before we start writing. So the first part, the sum of negative 7 and 6 times the number. So, I have 6 times the number. I'm just using n again. 
and it's being added to a negative 7. But then it says that that is multiplied by 5, so I need to put that in brackets with 5 on the outside to show that it's being multiplied by the entire quantity. Okay, and then it says the result is, so that's an equal to sign, 332 less than 3 times the number. So 3 times the number would be 3 in, and it's 332 less than, so I would subtract 332 from that amount. Then I can go ahead and use the distributive property with my 5. So I'll have 30 in, since adding a negative is the same as subtracting, I'm just going to say a minus. 35 equals 3n minus 332. Okay, now I'm going to get my n's on the same side of the equation and my constants on the other. So I'm going to subtract 3n on the opposite side and then add 35 on the right side. So I'll have 27n equals 297 and that would be negative because that's a negative 332 then I just need to divide both sides by 27 so n equals negative 11 and we can find the same number the fourth example in lesson 5 is about fractional parts of a number Remember that when we multiply a number by a fraction, we say that we have taken a fractional part of the number. So again, it's a word problem, so we're going to read through the problem and then set up the equation to find the number that's missing. One-fifth of the clowns had red noses. If 30 clowns had red noses, how many were there in all? So the first part, one-fifth of the clowns had red noses. So you'd be multiplying one-fifth times the total number of clowns. And then, if 30 clowns had red noses, how many were there in all? So we know that one-fifth of the total amount would be or equal to 30 clowns. Then we just need to solve our equation. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by 5, because that is the reciprocal of 1 fifth. So the total number of clowns equals 150. In the fifth example in lesson 5, we have another word problem over fractional parts of a number. And the first thing we're going to do, as always, is just read through to see what we're looking for. So 7 eighths of the Tartar Horde rode horses. If 140,000 were in the Horde, how many did not ride horses? So they're giving us 7 eighths. And that is the number that rode horses. But we need to know what the fractional part is that did not ride horses. So we're going to subtract 7 eighths from 1, because 1 is the total number. Think of it like 100%. So it's 1 eighth that did not ride horses. So we need to multiply our 140,000 by 1 eighth. And that will give us the number that did not ride horses. So when we multiply this out, there's 17,000 and 